Hey Rob, what's a good way to set up a video conference for your class so you can check in and see how they're doing? I don't know Rob, usually I just set up a Zoom conference and share the link to my students via email. Sometimes I'll even post a link on Google Classroom and let them know the date and time. That's interesting because I like Google Meet and sometimes I just put a Google Meet link in an email and send that off to people. Yeah, I've been in one of your Google Meet sessions before. They're pretty easy, and plus I saw the recording on Google Drive, so it's pretty easy, I guess, for you to record something and share your screen and do all that kind of stuff, just like you can in Zoom. Yeah, but Zoom has some more features like the waiting room and pass-through protection. They even have like a breakout room and some pretty cool features that Meet just doesn't have. Yeah, Meet is pretty simple. So I guess what's the difference? Well... We just reviewed some of the differences, but something that new has just happened, and that's Google Classroom has just made it possible to have a Meet session right within Google Classroom. No way. Can you show me how you did that? Absolutely. Check this out. So I'm in a Google Classroom, and if you look at the gear setting, you scroll down the general, you can see that Meet is now supported within Google Classroom. And to get started, you can just generate a link. But before you start, check it out. There's some learn more so you can see the ins and outs of just exactly what you're getting into. Notice this article is meant for teachers. Students should go to a different site if they want to learn more about it. So with Google Hangouts, you can have a virtual meeting with your class. Some people might have it already and some people might not. But before you start, just note that West Genesee already has Meet turned on. And students and teachers both have to use a school account. So some of the best practices are already here. They have a teacher's guide. They have a quick start guide. But one of the warnings is that students can potentially um, return to your class before you leave. So you want to make sure you check out all of these little settings. There's even a, a help center. You can even have captions for students that uh, want to have a transcript of everything. Um, so, you, you know, you probably want to check this out before you get started. Anyway, once you're there and you decide you want to turn it on, you can generate a meeting link. This link can be copied. It can also be reset. And when you generate a link, you also make it visible to students. If you turn it off for students, the link is still there. The students just won't see it anymore. So let's keep it on and let's copy it. And then let's paste it on a classroom stream page. So Notice you have to save your settings. And then if you want to announce to your class that you're going to have some kind of virtual meeting, you can do it on the announcement page. And under add, you can add a link. Since I just copied it back into settings, I can paste it here and add that link and then post it. Notice I can send it to all my classes or I can just send it to one class. And if I do send it to one class, I can send it to all my students, or I can pick and choose which students receive the link, just like anything else in Google Classroom. And when I post it, the students will then have a link to join the meeting that's in session. Thanks for listening. I hope you found this useful.